uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga is back in the country. There are several issues that he's expected to touch on, including uh, the ICC, uh, the issue of teachers, the economy, the corruption. Uh, and of course, uh, this comes as uh, ODM has made it very clear that they intend to start rallies in the country, uh, basically to counter the rallies that we've had uh, from Jubilee as well. They intend to start that in Kericho. Let's listen to what's happening. Be humbled by the reality and live up to our responsibilities. One would have thought that this reality would be a reason to solutions and to bring about solutions in the interest of Kenya. Jubilee, however, seems, uh, sees this as just another moment for hubris grandstanding, backpassing, and big talk. With nothing to steal and nothing to pay workers like teachers. <laughs> sooner, sooner rather than later, the figures were going to refuse to add up. Let's be honest, teachers have not been paid, not because they went on strike, but because the government is broke. The strike is the excuse. Counties are getting their money too late, if at all. And the information I have is that they are not getting their money at all. <coughs> but the story of teachers is even worse, because there is a court ruling. Now, imagine a situation where you are arrested and you are taken to court and you are fined, you given a fine. Do you tell the court that I don't have the money there or not? You know the, you know the consequences. They're only at the beginning of a long, gruesome and miserable journey. It's upon the president to ensure that the confidence returns both among the Kenyan people and to the <laughs> Mr. President, we need a clear roadmap to put Kenya on the path to sustainable and equitable growth. As a position, we stand ready to support measures that will support ensure ready to support a growth strategy that takes Kenya where it belongs. We know the league uh, this nation should be playing in. We demand a plan that creates a competitive activity, job creation, fairness and inclusivity at the center of our growth agenda. And we know We now know that in the league of corruption,